people, welcome back to my videos or my channel or whatever. It's a little windy today, as you can probably hear in the camera. Sorry about the wind. Just, it's really a nice day and I wanted to get out here and do a video. Another one over the gun. So next day after my other video from the 1022 Ruger that you probably watched. So I'm going to show this one next. This again is a Ruger. It has the uh, Ruger symbol. And it has a, this is my grandpa's. It has a carrying case with it. It's a holster with it too, a carrying case. It's hard. I know people are watching me call me a carrying case. Actual, whoa, this has got some rust on. I gotta clean that. Look at that rust. That's insane. But uh, yeah, I gotta clean that. That's bad. That's really bad. Hmm. Wow. Alright, so anyway, I'm gonna shoot this little. Uh, it's not loaded, so I gotta load it. This is a 10, this is 1022. This is a single six. And it's, it is a 22. Is as a small cylinder. I can tell because it has a small cylinder. Plus, it says 22 caliber, single six. So, to load and unload revolvers, those of you who don't know guns, just pull back the hammer two times. One, two. You'll have two clicks, and then it will allow the, the cylinder to move freely. So then, I got me some Federal Lightning, as I used in my last video. I'm going to sit you down here. This guy, that's my hand. Wait, that's my hand. There is the sky. Beautiful sky. Anyway, this is the lubricated ammo. I'm going to show you in the last video. With the greeny lubrication thing, it's too bland. I'm sorry, it's annoying. I know. This is a pain. I do not have any hearing protection on, which I probably should, because it's a pistol. But I decided not to, because. I got bored, and I decided to make my ears, my ears ring and hurt for the rest of the day. So it's 10 shot, 6, 10, 6 shots, as it says from the single 6 category from Ruger. I'm going to make the cylinder turn, I'm going to make the cylinder turns, make sure, yep, alright, turns all the way around. So. Should I do, I'm probably going to do some, did you guys see the iron sights? Hang on. I just want, I really want to do this. I really do. I think, no, oh my. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Alright. So whenever you uh, are already loaded up the revolver, to, when you have the hammer back two clicks, hold the hammer. Whenever you're ready to fire, just either hold the, pull the hammer all the way back, and then you're ready to fire, or if you want to wait a little bit, pull the trigger while you're holding, while you're holding the hammer, I warn, I'm going to warn you about that right now. Hold the hammer when you pull the trigger. Because that releases the hammer. Alright. So, got some homemade targets out there. Look, beautiful. Probably not, I can barely see it because shade and sunlight are on at the same time and it's really annoying. Pull the hammer back, aim, fire. Easy as that. It's really loud. Even though it has a super long barrel.
All right, I don't know how many shots that was, if you were counting. I don't care how many shots it was. I'm probably gonna shoot it one more time, make sure it's out, or if it's just dry. Yep, it's dry. Okay. Wait, one more time, just to make sure. Yep. Okay. So, again, super long barrel. I don't know how long this is. Don't want to know, because then I'll just get freaked out and start, like, going in the corner. No, I'm kidding. Um, but to unload a single six, there is a lever right here spring and then you open up the flap pull the hammer back two times to your two clicks one two then you're ready to unload and as you can see this is a room fire I can tell it's a room fire because it fires there on the rim I don't think you can see it a little bit of light, let it focus. Well, you can see the indentation right there on the rim. I'm not going to save these shells because you can't reload 22s. But I do... I can reload any other caliber, I think. But I reload 357s. I reload my 357s, my 38 specials. And, uh, I don't, unlo I don't reload shotguns, because I really don't own a shotgun yet. Well, my grandpa does. My dad and my grandpa do, but I'm going to do a video over that later. Alright, so anyway, close the flap, lay her back, release it, pull the trigger to release it, remember that. Alright, so anyway, since the shooting is done, here's some really good bullets with a really good gun. I'm gonna clean this up a lot. Make sure that whenever you're handling your gun, if you really love it, make sure to uh, wipe it off with a uh, silicone towel or a silicone rag or whatever you wanna call it so that rust does not get on it. Because I this has rust on it and I have not been wiping it off with any uh, things I guess but anyway this has gone on for about eight minutes so I'm probably gonna end it at nine spend one more minute talking about it it's a really good gun I love it uh, it's a Sturm Sturm Ruger come from Southport Connecticut and let me show the iron sights I can line it up. That's the iron side. It's kind of a musket kind of iron side, I guess. Yeah. Oh well. Well, it's it's really heavy too. It's a heavy gun, so it doesn't really have much recoil. Of course, it's 22, so what does it really matter? I honestly would not want to do a quick draw with this. Mostly because of the long barrel, you're gonna have to pull way out of your holster and then draw it. Draw it, cock the hammer, fire. It would just be like annoying and hard to do that. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk to you people later. See you later.